Hello everyone, welcome to our programming library. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to read data files directly from the web in R. So uh, in this tutorial, we are not going to download any data and uh, read uh, those data in the R Studio. Rather, we will directly go to a website and uh, read uh, the data from the website in, in the R Studio. So uh, let's start our work. And first of all, let's go to a website. So I have this website um, in my browser, and it is a, um, a World Bank ORG uh, site. And I have, uh, I'm going to take a data which is related to the gross domestic product ranking table. And this, uh, this data is uh, found in different format here, in the actual file, CSV file, or PDF file. Uh, I'm going to uh, read the data in CSV file. And to start, um, um, to read any data from the web, first of all, go to the data and right click there and um, copy the link address. And then uh, go to the R Studio. And since it is a CSV file, uh, let's write the command uh, to read a normal CSV file. Okay, it's read.csv and then paste our web address here. And let's set our header true uh, to indicate uh, that the first row of the CSV file is header and not the actual data. Now we can view our data and let's let's see uh, how is our data now so yes this is our data so we successfully uh, read our data from uh, the website here and if you see this data you can find there are several columns uh, which uh, are with the missing values and uh, uh, so these columns are basically unnecessary columns. So uh, let's go and uh, clean up the data by uh, removing those columns. And uh, for that, uh, we have to uh, see which columns uh, have uh, the missing data. So let's see which columns are these. Uh, the first, second, third, and then uh, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Uh, so let's remove uh, those columns now. So uh, let's write our data and remove those columns. So we are not going to change our rows, but we want to remove our column. And the columns to be removed were 3, 6, 7, Eight, nine, and tenth. Okay, and all right. Now let's see our data. So you see that uh, the unnecessary columns, uh, which have uh, missing values, uh, were successfully removed uh, from our data. And also, let's see uh, what is the condition of the row. So you can see here, not all roads have uh, data. So let's see up to where uh, the data are. So you can see here, all the roads um, after 244 do not have any data. Uh, so uh, let's remove uh, those roads also, uh, which do not have the data. So this time, we want to have our data set with uh, with uh, and all the roads uh, which do not have any data is removed. And the roads in this case were from 244 to the last row. And the last row was, uh, in our data is this one. Uh, 11,982, so 11,982, 
and uh, we are not doing anything with the column so let's give it blank and let's run this uh, line of code okay and let's see our data now okay um, so if you see now our data is most clean up cleaned up and we have now we don't have now any unnecessary columns which uh, have missing values and also we do not have any unnecessary rows which do not have any data okay uh, so um, in this video we successfully read the csv data from the web using r studio and also uh, cleaned up the data a bit um, uh, so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I hope to see you guys in the next video.